guys, my name is Kitty. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another weekly reading vlog. So today is Wednesday. It is the start of the third week of Escape. We are literally on the third week. That's so crazy. This path, it's just been like a whirlwind, <laughs> truly like, I can't believe it. Actually, I'm, I'm really shocked, but yeah, we're on the third week of Escape. I'm so, so excited. Um, and yeah, I just, I don't know. I feel like this week is going to be so fun. <sighs> I think it's just because today is just such a exciting day for me that I just feel like the rest of the week is just going to be like this. And hmm, let's manifest this together, guys. Like we have this. Also, I don't feel like shit anymore because I've been taking my allergy medication. That also <laughs> helps. Last week, I was literally fighting for my fucking life. Um, so yeah, it's just, it was... It was very chaotic last week, but I'm back and I feel energized. Also, I just drank coffee, so that could all be why I feel so motivated for life. Let's see how long this lasts. Anyways, the exciting thing that I wanted to start this vlog with is that today is the day. Today is the day that Song of the Abyss by Emma Hamm releases. I have it downloaded on my Kindle. Where is my Kindle, actually? I literally just had it in my hand literally just had it oh here it is she has been locked and loaded in this kindle okay so if you don't know honestly <laughs> and if you do know i'm sorry i keep talking about this i will never stop the song of the abyss is the second book the first book is whispers of the deep by emma ham it is a mermaid monster romance it changed my life i love that one so much and i always recommend it if you like monster romance just like in general check it out if you like bioshock if you play bioshock one and two check it out bioshock is one of my favorite video games i've ever played through so <laughs> oh that book so the second book comes out today i have it downloaded on my kindle i'm ready to go i oh my god i can't wait i had to stop myself from reading it while i was in bed because i started whispers of the deep one morning and i did not stop until i was done and i can't do that today because i have so much work to do today sorry my phone see it work work is calling already um i have so much work today that i i can't start it now because if i start it now i won't stop because that's exactly what happened with whispers of the deep i started in the morning and i didn't stop until i was done and it was so intense but i loved every second of it and i want to do the exact same thing with song of the abyss but once i'm off work so <laughs> that's the plan is to start this once i'm actually done with work and can really like get in it because I'm so so excited so like I said this is the second book in a series um so I'll just like recap what the first book is about um essentially is following humanity who for some reason can't live on the surface anymore so they have traversed down they've built like these dome cities on the sea floor and like if you've ever played Bioshock I feel like you can picture exactly what I'm saying but if you haven't I'll like put some pictures up so it's like cities underwater and because humans are <laughs> humans uh they are they have a lot of, of of constant friction with the mermaids that also live at the bottom of the ocean the mermaids hate the humans the humans hate the mermaids you know it's like enemies to lovers <laughs> um and there are like a couple of cities and our first book follows one of the engineers that works at one of the cities and the second book is going to follow another character that lives in like another city so they're like all connected because they're all part of this human society underwater but i don't think they're like physically connected so we're gonna go see a new part of the world in this one and i'm so excited the third book has also been announced that i think it's coming out in like november um which i mean <laughs> locked and loaded for november too so I'm really, really excited. I gave the first book five stars. I absolutely loved it, devoured it, obsessed. I have a feeling I'm also going to give the second book five stars because it's going to be definitely a lot of like emotions, a lot of trauma. Um, I feel like this is definitely going to be another enemies to lovers arc. Like, I just think it's going to be so, so, so good. And I can't fucking wait. And oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So that's what I'm going to be reading on my Kindle today. Um, and then I do have other books that I want to read. So I'm just going to show them to you now um, and see if I hold myself accountable. <laughs> because I always switch books in the middle of vlogs. The other book that I would like to read this week is Ghost Station by S.A. Barnes. This is 
my book club pick for the spicy cats book club this is a discord only book club the link is in the description if you'd like to join this is a book for may and this is a horror sci-fi a lot of people have been really enjoying it from what i have read on the discord somebody said it was their best book of 2024 and i'm like whoa like i'm so excited i have read sa barnes's other work which was dead silence and i really didn't like that one i gave that one two stars it was just a little too thriller for me I'm hoping and praying that this leans more horror than thriller. I'm like, I really, oh, I really want to love this. I'm scared just because I didn't like the other book by S.A. Barnes. But like, I'm hoping that this one is more horror than thriller. So fingers fucking crossed, fingers fucking crossed. I really want to love this. I got a really good deal of this on Pango. I think I ended up paying like $2 for it because I had Pango bucks and all that stuff. So I got a good deal, so if I don't like it, I will be, like, probably listing it back up on Pango. But I want to like it because I love sci-fi horror. Like, in movies, that is, like, one of my favorite subgenres of horror. I love a good sci-fi horror. And this, for some reason, kind of give, gives me Event Horizon vibes. And I'm just, like, hoping that that's true or that I just get something creepy like that. So I have really, like, I have really high hopes, but my expectations are really low. So... I feel like that could work for this book, you know, because I won't be, like, expecting too much like I was with Dead Silence. So, yeah. Let's see. If I'm scared, but I'm really excited, and I do want to get to this this week. Uh, but this is the first book in the Bewitched series. I know the second book has come out, and this follows, like, a witch who has to, like, embark on a journey to, like, strengthen her magic or something. But then she, like, ends up getting, like, in a car... Not a car crash. In a airplane accident? She crash lands, I think in the amazonian forest maybe <laughs> and there she meets like this imprisoned demon god entity don't know um and he thinks that she's his like long lost wife that like also betrayed him something along those lines it sounds fun she has a familiar like a jaguar as a familiar which i'm like that is so sick like if I could choose a familiar it would also be a fucking jaguar are you kidding me that is so cool um so it just sounds like it's gonna be like a fun time witchy fun time i'm a little bit iffy with witchy books i've said this before i don't like when witchy books get really into like the power of women is through the womb so i'm hoping this doesn't do that but i don't know i'm always iffy but if it doesn't that'd be great because then i would have you know a higher chance that i enjoy it but yeah i will be reading bewitched as well um so the, yeah these are my reading plans these are the reading plans three books these are chunky i think i'm overestimating but whatever i don't have anything to do this week so like let's see if we can do it i also am hosting reading sprints on sunday for escape so i think i could do it i think i could do it so those are the plans for this week uh, let's see how far I get into it. Um, I am being very ambitious, but also I feel super good today mentally. So I'm just going to seize this, this vibe, <laughs> see if I can carry it with me through the rest of the week, but also no promises. Cause you know, mental health, she's, she's a tricky one. So we'll see what happens for the rest of the week, but, uh, I have high hopes for myself. So let's see if we can do it. So that's going to be it. I'll update you guys once I'm off work and have gotten into Song of the Abyss. I'll probably come back screaming, crying, throwing up at you. But just prepare yourselves. I feel like at this point you guys know what I read. So apologies if you're new. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Um, yeah, but I have fun, you know, and that's the most important thing about reading is you should have fun. And I definitely have a lot of fun with what I read. So I will update you guys a little bit later.
Hey guys, so it is Thursday and I have bad news. I haven't fucking read anything. I know, tragic. I was so excited yesterday, but work, mm, I swear to God, it gets in the way of everything that I want to do. <laughs> Every day, it ruins my fucking days. But um, anyways, yesterday was really hectic. I had a lot of work to do. Then I had to go to a uh, Pilates class and then um, we had to go meet up some friends for drinks. So I just didn't have time to read last night. And then today, I think it should be a relatively easy day work-wise. I don't think I have too much to do. I already did the biggest thing I had to do earlier. So I'm feeling like this is going to be the day that I can binge <laughs> Song of the Abyss. But I did end up starting a little bit of Ghost Station last night by S.A. Barnes. I just kind of wanted to get a feel for it. I literally read two pages. I have literally no opinions. I read two fucking pages. But I'm excited still. Like, I'm still excited about... Um, go station so today the plan is to binge read song of the abyss that is my primary goal i do also want to get a little bit of go station read as well um just because i want to get a handle of it and i want to start working through it i also did go to the library today to pick up a hold so i got two books um i got deliver me by l nash this is specifically for a lit fic taste test vlog that i'm working on i don't know if i've said it in this video or if i've said it before but i'm working on a lit fig taste test and this was one of the books that was recommended to me so i did um put a hold in at my library and i went to go pick that up and then i also got another hold which is behind you let me grab it so i also picked up volume two of alice in borderland which i also would like to read and get back into this and see if uh, i like it more than the first volume um so yeah i picked this up as well from the library so i have quite a few library holds now um just because i want to use my library more and i you know want to like make sure that i'm buying books that i actually want to read physically and if they're just books that i'm like curious about i want to grab them from my library because if i don't like them then i didn't spend any money which is like my um like my tactic for the lip fic taste test vlog because I don't want to actually buy these books because I don't know if I like lip fic or not. So the plan is to basically get them all from my library. I have set that up. I also introed my lip fic vlog as well. I sent off Etsy orders. Um, I went to go get water. I went to go pick up my holds, like I said. And I did like this really big work thing that I had to do today. So I feel good. I still do have a couple of things to work on. And while I do that, I think I am actually going to start with Ghost Station. Just because, like I said, when I start Song of the Abyss, I will not be putting that thing down. So I need to start that once I'm done completely with work. But in the meantime, between tasks, I'm going to uh, focus on Ghost Station. So I want this to be good so bad. I need this to be good so bad. <laughs> so those are the plans for today. I will come back once I actually have a reading update to give you guys. So I will see you guys later. guys so it is friday i do have a bit of a reading update um so well i'll say for ghost station i did get some more read tom tomorrow tomorrow <laughs> yesterday i got to page 32 um and honestly i'm scared that this is going to do exactly what dead silence did um which is to go in the thriller direction um it just feels like we're getting set up for this main character who has a lot of issues that she hasn't resolved yet her job is to help other people with their trauma but she hasn't dealt with her trauma at all she just like represses it and represses it and represses it and we're ge getting hinted that she has like this big secret um so it's like, it's kind of setting up for like an unreliable narrator and for like there to be a bunch of secret reveals and it just, it's feeling really thrillery and it's only been 32 pages. So I'm very scared about that because that's <laughs> why I didn't enjoy Dead Silence. I just don't like thrillers as a genre. Um, 
but from what I read so far this is basically following this woman who is a psychologist and she works at this company and they're kind of like um she's a psychologist to like deep space explorers type thing because that's what the company does is like deep space exploration and you know colonizing <laughs> the universe or whatever so she ends up getting an assignment where she's basically going to be taken to this um ship where there's a crew that recently lost a team member and she's kind of there to just kind of help them with their loss and um i think there's like this like new gadget that they've created that's supposed to help with the strain of being in space so long because human beings are just not equipped to handle that type of stress and just like the stress that comes with like living on a ship with a bunch of people no privacy i feel like it would be an extreme situation for a person to endure for a really long time so it makes sense why you know they're trying to kind of like find a way to help people deal with you know just being in space all the time and she's kind of like trialing it out but also she's a psychologist so she's supposed to help these people kind of deal with the tragedy of their recent loss and i think somebody's gonna die soon which also kind of like pushes the story forward that's what i've gotten from what i've read so far and like the synopsis i don't usually read synopsis but i just want to read this one because i was a little bit unsure as to what the story was going to be about. Um, and then just from like, from the synopsis and from just like the cover of the book, I'm kind of seeing that it might be kind of like a one by one, you know, type of thriller. And I'm really scared because I really don't like thrillers. So I'm very nervous about this book and I'm only 32 pages in, but I'm going to continue because I do want to see what happens. I'm just scared that it's going to do exactly what Dead Silence did and that's going to be a huge disappointment to me so i'm not super excited about ghost station so far but again i'm really just 32 pages in so that doesn't really mean anything and then i did start reading song of the abyss yesterday i i think i finished up with everything around like 10 and i think that's when i kind of settled down and i got to page 89 which is 23 percent and ugh, i hate to say this I hate to say this, but it hasn't captured me. It hasn't captured me the way that the first book captured me. I mean, when I read the first book, like, I'm not even joking. Like, from the fucking get-go, I was in it. Like, I was in it. And this one, like, I'm interested, but I'm not, like, obsessed. And, like, I don't have this feeling that I'm like, I want to binge this book right now. Which is what I had with Whispers of the Deep. So, I'm... <laughs> Like, I'm interested, but it's definitely not hitting, like, Whispers of the Deep hit. And I am already 89 pages in. So I'm just, like, I'm, like, I'm sad. I'm sad about it. Okay, so the setup of this book is following a character from the first book. And this book is going to essentially be his, like, redemption arc because he was a piece of shit in the first book. His intentions, you, you know that his intentions were like in the right place, but the way that he went about it was super fucked up and just, yeah, he was a dick in the first book, which is fine. I love a redemption arc. Sign me up for one. Um, but the thing about this is that like the way that the relationship is moving, I'm not like super obsessed with it. I'm just not captivated by them yet. And like the way that the first book ends sets up for this book to feel like there is a sense of urgency. Like there's a sense of like we need to get this stuff done. And the beginning of the book felt like it matched that ending of the first book being like so urgent. Matched it with the beginning of this one. But now we're kind of hitting this lull. And it feels kind of awkward because we as a reader know that there is this sense of like we need to figure this stuff out like relatively soon but we're gonna take a pause in the story for this relationship to develop i'm excited for the relationship to develop i do want to like them it's just like the way that they have interacted so far and like the the way that these characters are in their individual povs i'm not like obsessed with them as characters i'm not obsessed with them as characters um i'm excited to see them I guess interact more romantically now that we're kind of gonna lull to give this space for the romance um but i just i feel like i just wanted it to be done in a completely different way <laughs> like i really i i feel like i wanted i imagined when i was like you know getting ready to read the book i imagined the situation unfolding in a completely different way and that's on me obviously 
um, but it's doing it in a comp like in a way that I never thought it would happen. And so I'm a little bit nervous as to what I'm going to think as the story progresses. Also, I had huge expectations for this book because I loved Whispers of the Deep. So that's also like an unfair, you know, situation for this book. But um, it just hasn't captivated me the way that Whispers of the Deep did. Um, but Whispers of the Deep, I think, is just a really special book. And I shouldn't compare this one to that, you know, because Whispers of the Deep was like, it was something else. Like, it was literally something else. And yeah like i should i should expect no nothing to like ever come close to being as good as that one was but i'm sad because i wanted this one to be as good i think this is still going to be a good book i just don't think it's going to be a five star for me at 89 pages that could completely change i still have like 300 pages left of the book so like who knows what's going to happen next and i might eat my words but at 89 pages i'm a little bit nervous um that this relationship won't be my favorite you know but we'll see i'm gonna continue it um today i do have sprints for escape today as well so i'm sprinting on friday and on sunday so fingers crossed i get all my books read i think for sprints tonight i am gonna continue with song of the abyss um so that should hopefully get me a good chunk of read of reading today and hopefully as we kind of like progress further i want to binge you know and i can just keep going um so i have sprints at six and then I think I'm going to go until 9, and then I have to take my sister to the airport at LAX, so that's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> so I'm going to go to the airport, come back. Um, but we'll see, like, how I feel, if I want to continue reading after I come back from the airport, or if I'm going to be too tired. We shall see. Um, tomorrow is Saturday, and I do have a relatively busy work day, but... Hopefully I can get some reading done. <laughs> so those are my updates for now. I will update you guys a little bit later. What the fuck are my bangs doing at this point? <laughs> Anyways, we're just gonna ignore that. Um, it is nine. I just finished sprints um, for escape. And I am now on page 186, 47%. And honestly, it's been really fun. I feel like once I kind of let go that this wasn't going to be as good as Whispers of the Deep and I just kind of like accepted the fact, you know, and just like, just like let it be what it is. I'm having a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm having, I'm having a good time. It's fun. The spice has started spicing. Um, and I really like um, our male lead. I think his name's Deus, Deus. And I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's, you know, we're just going to go with Deus, Deus. And he's just going through a lot. He has some PTSD he's dealing with. He has a lot of remorse, a lot of guilt um, for things that happened um, in the first book. And, you know, it's all kind of compounded within his, like, sense of worth. And he has a lot of, like, self-worth issues as well. Um, so I just really like his character because I like, you know, just he's very, he's a very complex character that we're following. Um, and Ani as well has a lot of things that she's dealing with um, because she is hard of hearing, has had to deal with the way people treat people uh, that have disabilities and the way that she has felt like her entire life as kind of just like a doll, somebody with no real say in their lives and like a very controlling father um so she has a lot of things that she's dealing with as well so she's also a very complex character like both of them are dealing with a lot of things um i feel like there hasn't been a lot of like engagement into that like not a lot of like let's deal with the trauma of it all um but they're very complex people and they have a lot of things that they're dealing with but we're mostly following their romance and their relationship i wish we saw more of it i truly truly wish we saw more of it um it feels sometimes like they'll just be like you know like oh i've been seeing her every day for the past like two weeks or something like it won't say that directly but like it'll imply that they've been seeing each other for a long time but we don't get to see those interactions you know and i wish we got to see them like i really want to see their interactions unfold. Um, ugh, I would love that. But any interactions that we do get, I'm eating it up. Like, oh my god, Deus. <laughs> oh my 
god he's crazy he's so crazy and i love him um there was this one line actually i'm just gonna read it to you because like i think this is peak romance for me this is peak peak romance he wanted to slide back into the water and kill something for her he wanted to return with blood all over his claws dripping from his teeth as he presented her with a kill that would show her just how badly he wanted her no needed her he needed every ounce of her attention he was greedy for the feeling of her of her eyes sliding along his skin and he would lay his body flat on the sands and pray to his gods for years if that's what it took to feel her touch i'm like oh my god <laughs> That is a type of devotion, obsession, borderline, like, psychotic shit that just works for me. <laughs> like, truly, that literally is my love language. Be so obsessed with me that it's actually kind of crazy how obsessed you are with me. You know? That's it. That's it. That's all we need here. So, I'm obsessed loving that <laughs> um it's so fun so i'm definitely gonna continue reading so hopefully i can finish song of the abyss and ghost station this weekend that is the goal is to finish these two books so hopefully we can do it um but yeah that's my update i'm having a blast and yeah i just love mermaids i just do i'm a simple girl I love mermaids. So yeah, that's gonna be it. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so it is Saturday and um, yesterday, I think, yeah, I checked in yesterday. So after I checked in last night, I ended up staying up <laughs> really late and finishing Song of the Abyss by Emma Ham, And I ended up giving it four stars. It's definitely not as magical as the first one, but it's still fun. Um, but... I definitely just think that the first one is something special <laughs> and uh yeah like I I feel like my expectations were too high for this one um because I just absolutely love the first one and that still stands I absolutely love the first one but the second one was fun I did have a good time with it um we do get a little bit of world expansion uh we also at the end kind of get the setup for the third book which I'm actually really excited about because I do like the male main character that's going to be for the third book i'm very excited to see his story because he's a very like jokester type of character so i'm really excited to see his interaction with his love interest that we also kind of see throughout this second book as well so i'm really excited for the third book yeah so i feel like deus was definitely my favorite from the two of them from anya and deus i feel like deus really was my character <laughs> like he if just the way that he viewed life and heartache and you know love it was just so heartbreaking and sweet at the same time and like honestly some of the things he said really like brought tears to my eyes um so he was definitely my favorite i really really enjoyed him um and i do like that he had you know his redemption arc and things like that but i do love 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 mira and argus from the first book like they just will always be like my rider fucking dies we do get to see them a little bit in the second book it just made me miss them like reading this book made me miss them and it actually made me want to reread the first one but i do want to get a physical copy of song of the abyss so that i can transfer my like kindle highlights to the physical book and then i want to do a reread of whispers of the deep because i have this really pretty special edition and i want to annotate it um and just like cry over it all over again um and yeah i definitely want to own these books for sure I was actually listening to Wasteland Baby and I feel like this album is like perfect for this book for Song of the Abyss like just like look at the vibes like he's underwater you know like the vibes of this album really fit with um <laughs> Song of the Abyss um like the slower songs you know like as it was Shrike talk be like those i feel like really fit the vibe i was like listening to my headphones and reading and it was like a really nice experience i also did have an ambient sound at the beginning of the book as well which i really liked um but yeah overall i had a really fun time with it um but again it's like it's not it's not like the first one <laughs> it just the first one has something that i feel like is really hard to recreate and that's okay you know like that's okay it's okay <laughs> So yeah, I had fun. Four stars. Great time. Still would recommend people reading it if you liked Whispers of the Deep. Just like don't expect it to be as 
amazing as Whispers of the Deep, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, had a great time. I'm actually gonna head to go get some coffee before I have to get my work done for the day. And the goal is to focus on Ghost Station by S.A. Barnes today. I really need to get into this and I wanna finish it out. Um, and yeah, I just need to get into it because those couple of pages that I've read so far really did not impress me. So I'm just a little bit worried and I don't want to wait too long in case I'm like, I get too like annoyed by it and then I just end up DNFing. I don't want to DNF. I don't want to DNF, but um, I do really need to get into it so that I can just kind of move forward with the story. So that is the goal is to focus on Ghost Station. Um, and I still do really want to read Bewitched. Um, so that might be the next book after I finish Ghost Station. I really want to get to Bewitch. So those are the plans. I'm going to go. I'll see you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, so I just got back. I did end up getting coffee and then I went to Daiso because this is really close by where I got coffee and I got some stuff. So I thought I would do a little haul, um, mostly stationary. I got this whiteboard. It is like a monthly planner. Um, I'm gonna put it on the fridge just so I can like write down when I have things to do. Um, and then like I was gonna have Miguel write his days off. I'll write my days off and when I have sprints and stuff so that we just know what we're doing like respectively throughout the week and plan accordingly because we have very different schedules sometimes. Um, so I got that and then I got a bunch of stickers. Like honestly, the Daiso today was so well stocked. I was so shocked, but also I spent way too much money in there. Uh, but I got these, these little sticky pads with a bear. Letters, these little heart letters. I thought they were so cute. These that I think these are really like summer appropriate i really like this water one um so for june and then i got this really nice like coffee browns this is really pretty love this one too i love all of them <laughs> i'm just gonna show them to you guys like this Ugh, this one is stunning and then these little bears i love these uh i got this little cat car seat neck pillow so I'm gonna put this on the driver's seat. Big scrunchie, I just really like this color. It's like a lot more green than it's showing on a, up on camera. I got this carrot <laughs> little, uh, little cutter thing. Um, and then I got two washi tapes. One of them has like blue bunnies. I don't think it's gonna show up too well, but this is like blue bunnies. And then this one is kind of like vintagey flowers really pretty so got that and then i don't know i got these because i need to uh, replace my car key battery because it doesn't work anymore and i watched a tutorial on how to do it so i'm actually going to attempt to do that now but yeah that's what i got the batteries for and yeah i think that's everything that i got from daiso i'm just so obsessed with these stickers like truly so fucking cute i cannot wait to do a journal spread um I'm actually gonna be doing a journal spread soon and I think I'm gonna be using these because I think it will fit so perfect for the the journal I'm gonna work on, but. Hey guys, so it is, f no, it's not Friday, it's Sunday. Currently hosting sprints for Escape and I am reading Ghost Station today. And I am now 122 pages in, and I'm liking it so much more than the last time I checked in. I got to like 70 or 80 pages, and I was still feeling really like iffy about it. Uh, but now 122 pages in, I'm so into it right now. Like, I'm just like, wait, what's going on? Um like i'm just very very curious as to what's happening i do find her character main character kind of annoying at times but i think the overall setup of this like really creepy planet and 
something that is going on but like nobody knows exactly what's going on is very entertaining and it's very captivating and I'm just like what's going on so it, it hooked me it has hooked me now at 122 pages definitely took some time to get there but now that I'm there I'm really interested in what's going to happen so I hope that this continues on in this trajectory of enjoyment um because yeah i really would love to enjoy this book but yeah I, i'm super gripped by it so far um i'm gonna continue reading i just wanted to give you guys a quick update as of right now i'm listening to to the sci-fi reading playlist that is on spotify like somebody made it and i linked it in the discord chat for this book in case anyone's looking for it because it's a really good sci-fi playlist like the sounds are so atmospheric for reading sci-fi i just oh, i love it so much so i'm listening to that while i read ghost station and yeah that's my little update for now i will come back hopefully once i'm like at 50 percent with this book hey guys so i just got like ready ready because i was uh in my pjs for sprints honestly um and i did get a good chunk of ghost station read on sprints i'm now 182 pages in so i'm like 50 percent into the book still really enjoying it um i feel like things are happening and something that they introduced in this book from the beginning that you as a reader just know is going to be a bad idea like you're just like this cannot go well like it can't is now not going well <laughs> and uh i'm excited to see what's gonna happen with that we've also had some reveals about people's past um and there's also kind of like a, a little bit of a romance in it which I'm not like a super huge fan of, but like it's there, very subtle. Um, I don't know if that's also going to develop, but there's that. Um, but yeah, so I am 50% into this. I am going to take a break from reading. Um, I'm going to go thrifting because it's my day off and I haven't gone thrifting in quite a while. So I want to go thrifting. Um, I want to go get some lunch because I'm actually really hungry. And then later today I will get back to reading Ghost Station. I might get a really good part where like I can pause without feeling like I need to keep going. So I was like, okay, let me let me do some like fun activities on Sunday because it's the day that I don't have work. And then, you know, I'll come back and I'll finish up. Well, I, I don't know if I'll finish up the book today, but I'll get more reading done today. Uh, but yeah, those are the plans for the day. I'm going to go thrifting. I'm very excited. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a fun time. I wanted to show you guys a haul because I went to a thrift store. I did get some uh, jeans or slacks from there. I really like getting men's slacks. Um, I just feel like they always fit so much more comfortably than women's jeans or pants, whatever. So I'm a big fan of men's slacks. Um, and I went to go get some more. And then I got a DVD. And this is... <laughs> This, I, I, I unironically love this movie, and that is Ghost Rider with Nick Cage and Eva Mendes. I fucking love this movie. Questionable taste? Absolutely, but that has been known. That's been known on this channel, so nobody is surprised. There's going to be a Patreon readathon happening in um, June. It's going to be between me, Kelsey, and Andrew. I will leave them linked in the description. You guys should definitely go subscribe to both of them. But we're going to be doing a like readathon, joint readathon between our Patreons. And it's like monster camp, slasher camp, shark camp <laughs> themed. Like each of our Patreons has like a theme, but they're all like all summer camp vibes. Um, and anyways, the... <laughs> That to say that I want to make us watch this. <laughs> Let me see when Ghost Rider came out, actually. Um, because 
there there are some watch watching prompts like to watch certain movies and i'm pretty sure on mine i put like to watch an early 2000s movie and i think this might be either early 2000s or early 2010 and honestly both of those are fine with me so i want us oh yeah 2007 so i feel like this would this would hit the <laughs> the the watching prop and i want us to watch it so i got it um because I, I love it. So got that at the thrift store. Then I went to a used bookstore and I got a bunch of books. The most exciting ones. I saw that they added like a local author section at my used bookstore. So uh, when I was buying these, the guy was telling me that um, they had like a book signing with these authors. I think there were three of them. One wrote like rom-com, paranormal, one other one wrote paranormal romance. I don't know what the third author wrote, but these two um are there because of the signing so i got bitten bitten by surprise by lizzie gale this is a paranormal romance vampires it's bitten book one and they had four books there but i got the first one just to try it out and see if i like it i've never read anything by this author but i'm very excited and it's signed <laughs> so if i love it i have a signed edition which is awesome oh my god Mm. wait they're hot <laughs> that's exciting so yeah pick this up it is like a, a vampire romance and then i got this which also is perfect for the readathon happening in june um it's love at Twenty Thousand leagues by the same author lizzie gale um so this is what this looks like it's like an underwater type of atlantis resort there's an ai that um is committing murder so it seems like it's kind of like romance but like thriller and i don't really like thrillers often but like the romance sounds a lot of fun so i was like you know what the vibe the setting like maybe i could get into this um so i picked this one up and this was also signed so very excited to try these out by this author, Lizzie Gale, so love that. We want to support our indie authors all the time. I then did check out the horror section. I got a couple of horror books. I got The Wells of Hell by Graham Master Masterton. I just got it because this cover is ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. Look at that. What the fuck is that? Like, What? I don't know, but I am very excited to find out. Far beneath the town, a torrent of evil as old as Satan has broken through the barriers to new to a new life. At first a trickle, now it's a torrent of destruction, devouring fresh victims for a demonic race that springs from the wells of hell. <laughs> That's sick. I'm excited, so I got that. This sounds really cool. Like, I read the back of this and I was like, oh my god. Wait, like... This sounds sick. And it's The Strange Nighttime Journey of Father Stephen Marlowe. And it says, In the year since his brother Chris committed suicide, Father Stephen... Stephen... Stephen? 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 Stephen. I don't know. Marlowe has not been able to pick up the pieces. He is racked with guilt over what he believes was his part in Chris's death. And his once rise to the Catholic Church in New York City has, has come to an end. Haunted by disturbing dreams of his brother suffering in a hellish underworld, Marlowe is at the breaking point. At the behest of his superiors, he goes to St. Michael the Archangel Church in the Bronx to seek counseling from a mysterious priest who specializes in helping spiritually troubled clergy. There, as he reluctantly attempts to make confessions and unburden his soul, the church is rocked by a powerful earthquake. The confessional disintegrates, the floor crumbles away beneath him, and Marlowe is plunged into... It's blocked here. What is that? The underworld? Into a world both wondrous and terrifying, where he must fight to save his brother's immortal soul. So it seems like he's essentially gonna go to hell and try and save his brother. I'm obsessed. Depictions of hell in books, movies, whatever. I'm such a fan. And this sounds like it's going to be exactly that. And I fucking can't wait. This sounds so good. I'm so excited. So pick this up. It's gonna be a fun time and then i got death walker by patrick whalen i like the cover it kind of i think it's like a zombie book maybe um i don't know but the cover is cool i've never read anything by patrick whalen and then i got two goosebumps i don't think i own these i don't think i own these but <laughs> i hope i don't i got uh one day at horrorland 
which I love this cover. I have a shirt with this cover, so obviously I needed that. And then I got Stay Out of the Basement. I don't think I own this one, but I'm going to check right now. Uh, but I've heard really good things about this one and this one too. So I'm really excited about these. I do want to read those. So yeah, that's what I picked up at the used bookstore. I go outside and continue reading Dead Silence because I need to know what happens. Um, and that, those are my plans for the rest of the day. Honestly, just have... A nice day outside because it is absolutely gorgeous and I want to sit in the sun for a little bit. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I will speak to you guys a little bit later. so it is tuesday i do have a few reading updates for you guys i have finished two more books um i finished ghost station by sa barnes on sunday um i ended up doing my little thrifting thing and then i came home um and made dinner and then i started reading and i finished this up i just couldn't stop until i finished because i really wanted to know what the fuck was going on and uh it was a really fun time like it was a fun like sci-fi horror i feel like it could have definitely been more of both of them like i feel like it could have really leaned a little bit more into the sci-fi and it could have leaned a little bit more into the horror i would have really enjoyed a little bit more body horror um but this definitely does feel more horror than thriller um comparing it to like dead silence and this definitely worked a lot better for me than dead silence did so i ended up giving this one four stars it was a lot of fun it really did feel like i was watching a sci-fi horror movie which i really love that is one of my favorite sub genres of horror i'm just really happy that i liked it because i was so disappointed with dead silence that i was so scared of this book and if it hadn't won um like a poll for the book club i would have never picked it up just because I didn't like Dead Silence. I think the character work was done really well. There was a lot of things that were being explored with like trauma responses. Um, and because our main character is a psychologist, like she has a lot of background on it. The only thing I didn't like is that it like really took someone else to tell her something that <laughs> she tells patients on the daily um, for her to realize it. You know what I mean? And it was just like some random character that she met through this mission which is like fine or whatever but like I feel like her close friends probably would have told her the exact same thing many times before but it took like this random guy to tell her and then she was like oh my god like <laughs> I guess we all are all blind to our own faults at times but still I just hated that the realization came through this like random character that she met while you know in this situation or whatever I will be keeping my copy of this book which I'm very happy about because it's such a cool cover so there's that and then the other book i read yesterday i started it yesterday finished it yesterday i couldn't put it down <laughs> and that is tentacles and teeth by rowan merrick this was my patreon top tier buddy read monster romance buddy read and this is a female female male like poly monster romance um there's literally no plot to this at all it's just like a romance with a lot of smut that starts off immediately okay but i was here for it i was here for it so here for it loved everybody involved in this poly like relationship um i loved the way that they went about their poly like setup and things like that um it was so fucking cute i loved everybody i was so happy for all of them so like usually like if i read like a poly reverse harem like type of story i'm usually a fan of like that's my boyfriend and that's his boyfriend and we're all boyfriends and we like all love each other you know what i mean like it's like my boyfriend's boyfriend is also my boyfriend does that make sense that's the type of poly that i like that's like my favorite um so if you have any recommendations let me know but this is like they're my boyfriend and girlfriend you know like it's separate they don't like intermingle with each other but they both love her and their best friends <laughs> so it's uh it was like it was a lot of fun it was it was a lot of fun um it's really smutty 
but it's a really good time and I really liked um, all the characters. I thought they were fantastic. Even though it's like super short, I feel like they were really fleshed out characters and like you really did get a sense of like who they were as people aside from like, you know, all the smut that was going on. You really got to like know them. The romance was very cute. Uh, but again, it's literally, it's, it's a smutty book. It's very smutty. So go into it knowing that, but it was a really fun time. Tentacles shadow mommy tentacles uh grunting hot werewolf man uh plus size female main character <laughs> all of that wrapped up into one story a lot of fun so i think i'm gonna close out the vlog today just because i feel like it's already pretty long and i haven't started bewitched yet so i'm just not thinking i'm gonna get much read today um for tomorrow's upload so i'm just gonna put this in next week's vlog and you know we'll talk about bewitched next week but i feel like for the most part i stayed on on my tbr i read ghost station and song of the abyss and then i strayed with you know uh <laughs> tentacles and teeth but that was a required read so I, it needed to happen anyway so i am actually really happy that i read it and was able to chat with everyone in the discord about it so you know what i'm happy about that uh, but that's gonna be it from me for this video if you made it to the end of this video and you want to leave me an emoji Just to say hi. Let's do the mermaid emoji because Duh, we <laughs> read song of the abyss and I also did do my journaling spread for whispers of the deep this week So let's leave a mermaid emoji if you want any more content from me I do have a patreon it is linked in the description. So that's gonna be it for me I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to keep with more content for me I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye